three words one week away ladies and gentlemen boys and girls children of all ages welcome back once again to the channel we have some big big pieces of destiny 2 news to talk about we're going to be talking about this uh, trailer here which we'll play in just a minute and a huge and i do mean huge forsaken post launch roadmap update we will get to that roadmap update in just a bit now here's the information we received here destiny 2 forsaken it's going to arrive in seven days time with a lot of new experiences major upgrades that are being aimed at transforming nearly every aspect of the game they've been talking a lot about the key futures and updates but they wanted to take a moment prior to launch to provide you with some additional details on what you'll be able to expect during day number one and to tee up the conversation they've recruited a handful of developers to take you through the, the through the plans sorry from the update 2.0 which eventually went live today now uh, there is two additional links I'll be putting in, maybe three. Um, one will be about the f uh, the five plus minute VDoc update. The other one will be uh, the letter from Cade and the 2.0 update. So you can you can definitely see those links in the description box below. So without further ado, here's a look at the Bungie VDoc, which talks about the Forsaken launch and beyond. I'll talk to you guys after the trailer. Enjoy. We want to make Destiny weird again. We want to bring the hobby back. That's what we've been saying all year. The plan in year two is that there's something new to chase, something new to do, some new experience that's happening every week, every month, year round. If we take everything we learned from Destiny 1, including the expansions like Taken King, take everything we learned from Destiny 2 on top of what we've learned from the fans and the players, put that all together in one package, uh, we think that's what Forsaken's going to be, and we're super excited about it. 2.0 is the release that comes out on 8.28. It's the big update, uh, getting ready for the Forsaken expansion. Yeah, giving you a chance to see all the new changes and kind of where we're going with Forsaken. First thing you're going to see is the new director. It looks very different. There's a lot more announcements on the director screen itself, and the director layout will be updated. We've had a lot of ways to get power, a lot of ways to like track your milestones and track your quests, and they didn't fit in the milestone blade anymore, so we've taken a lot of that stuff out, and now a lot of them live as quests in the pursuit bucket. There's weapons changes that we're prepping. So we've increased vault space by 200 slots. Yeah. <laughs> First thing you're going to want to do is dismantle everything that you don't even need. So it's gonna, you're going to have a lot of room to work with, but random rolls is going to be interesting because you're going to want to keep a couple before you start to realize which one of those random rolls that you really want to keep. Forsaken is the beginning of the season of the Outlaw, which is season four of Destiny 2. Season four is going to have a lot of stuff to yes. do. Yeah, <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> The well, launch is going to start with the campaign and Gambit being the first front and center things that people are going to jump into. Second week, the raid. We're really focusing on systems that players can engage with besides just power. So we have lore that you can go find out in the world. There's items and bosses you can kill that will tell you a story that you can go read in the game. We have bounties that, that are like on all yeah. the vendors yeah. and that like tell a story and are part of that destination loop. Find your way to the Dreaming City and then you can see that the Dreaming City evolves. There's going to be a new triumphs to unlock. For me, the way that triumphs is going to change behavior is just in the chase for titles yeah. for, for me. There's not very many of them. They're really hard to get. You have to do a lot of triumphs. But when you get to put that over your head Something. and nobody else has it, it feels good to walk around the tower. Yeah. When I see one in the wild, I'm going to be like, that person is a god to me. Yeah. I say god a lot in these things. <laughs> the start of each one of the seasons, and there'll be four of them a year, is where we're going to reset and refresh events and rituals and holidays that players are going to want to play in that will have rewards available to every player. In that first month, you're going to be able to play a new PvP mode called Breakthrough. And so that'll come out. And so we're really excited to have people play both that and the new Iron Banner with power enabled with the new weapon slot changes and the new sandbox balance tuning. So we think that's going to be pretty exciting. Yeah. We try to ensure with all of the seasonal content that there's exciting short-term chases for someone who just wants to log in and try out a new event or a new experience. And if you really want to grind your face off, there's also rewards that will be exclusively for the most committed, most skilled Destiny players. 
The main thing that we want to change with year two of Destiny is that there's never a content drought. There's always something new happening every month, year round. So there's seasonal updates that are free for all players and major content beats as part of the annual pass. The annual pass is a result of our learning and looking over this last year of how people have responded to uh, Osiris and Warmind and the things that they've really they've resonated. Escalation, Escalation protocol, protocol, protocols okay. and the hidden quests uh, in Warmind and the Whisper quest and a lot of the things we're doing in Forsaken that we haven't even talked about, like those types of things uh, are really exciting and we think are going to excite players more. So the three that are, are coming, Black, Black Armory, Armory Joker's, Wild, Joker's Wild, and Penumbra. And Penumbra. Yeah. What if there was this elite group of crafters who created some of the most notorious weapons in the Destiny universe, and you're going to get exclusive access to this vault that has the greatest weapons ever created in the Golden Age. So with Joker's Wild, there's this really interesting new character named the Drifter, and there's all of this backstory, but you'll just get a, you'll begin to get a glimpse of that in Forsaken. And Joker's Wild is our chance to go deeper. And what is his greater purpose? And what is inside that crazy rock he's got attached to his ship? So just like we saw with the, the, the Whisper of the Worm quest that came out uh, recently, like those kind of secrets that players discover themselves are super exciting. What if we took an entire release, you know, let leak the, uh, the name Penumbra, but what if everything else was the mystery box the players will uncover collaboratively? It's not since Taken King that I feel like we, we took a game, we got a lot of things right, we got a bunch of things wrong, and this is our chance to go back and reset the ledger. I mean, there's yeah. so many different things that Destiny 2 did that set us up for this, and then Destiny 1 did a bunch of things that we'd walked away from at Destiny 2's launch that we're embracing again, and so Forsaken takes the best of those worlds and, and puts it into one package, and we do think it's the best version of Destiny. That, and it adds, and adds, adds more, something absolutely. New. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, honestly, it's what the game needs to be. After looking at that trailer, OMG, I am so ready. So as the developers said, uh, actually, let me turn on the fan here. There we go. Sorry, I am absolutely <laughs> melting right now. So it's going to kick off the season called Season of the Outlaw, which is going to be Season 4. And of course, once you complete that campaign and hunt down the Barons, secure some of the favorite weapons, explore the new worlds like the Tangled Shore and Dreaming City, the challenges that await, uh, yada yada yada. Um, you'll be able to see them update the game with new activities and new rewards. Now they've also given away some surprises for you to discover as well. Now the information in the roadmap below aren't intended to spoil them, but it's definitely going to give you a broad sense of what's to come. Now each subsequent three month season is going to usher in a month over month rollout with some new experiences, new events, new rewards, activities, and so on, which will be available for free to every Destiny 2 player. Okay? And of course, the annual pass is different than the traditional post-launch Destiny expansions that they've delivered in years past. And of course, the annual pass, which comprises of three major content expansions, Black Armory, Joker's Wild, and Penumbra. They're going to offer a range of different experiences that will consist of new in-game activities, modes, discoveries, challenges, and so much more with each of them offering some prestigious rewards as well. Of course, they're going to release throughout the year, working in concert with our free seasons to help keep the world alive and fresh. Okay, now, here comes the big piece of news. And of course, you can pause this uh, portion here as well. That's just the beginning. So let's take a look at the post-launch content roadmap for Destiny 2 for a second. Let's begin with Fall 2018. Oops, there we go. <laughs> so again, this is the Forsaken launch. This is season number four, and it's called Season of the Outlaw. And again, this is free to all Destiny 2 players, except we're indicated. Okay, so here's what's happening right now. Going on right now, today is August the 28th. By the way, I'm just recording on the 28th, of course. And we are into our final week of year four and the final week of season three. <laughs> and I'm going to throw this in. Last week of the summer holidays. <laughs> okay, I figured better get old myself. But anyway, uh, update <laughs> update 2.0 just went live. Again, I'll post the link for that in the description box below. The Forsaken preload. Now I'm pretty sure you can 
you can preload it from the Xbox store. I am not 100% sure. I'll definitely check it out at some point today. Now, again, in order to play Forsaken, you have to download the update, the Day 1 patch, and Hotfix 2.0.0.1, which comes out next week. You'll have the Weapon Slap preview, the Sandbox and Director updates. By the way, you just saw the uh, Director update. It looks so cool. You saw a little glimpse of the Heroic Story missions, too. Uh, there's Milestones and Challenges updates, too, and the Vault Space increase. So it originally excuse me, went from 300 all the way to 500. Unless if I got the numbers mixed up a little bit. Uh, coming up this Saturday on September 1st, we have the 24-hour free trial of Gambit. And remember, that ends on September 2nd at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific. I'll be able to record some gameplay from Gambit. So, just for you guys right here, even though I'm terrible at PvP. But then this is the main event. Actually, the first of two main events that is for September. First of all, September 4th, the way will be over. Destiny 2 for second will launch along with uh, collections, triumphs, weapons, slot updates, random rolls, and so much more. <coughs> Sorry about that. Then we get ready for our second raid of Destiny 2. It launches on September 14th at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. It is going to be called Last Wish. Then we get ready for our first Iron Banner of Season 4, and the first one of Year 5. That's coming out September 18th. And we're going to get a brand new Crucible map called The Convergence. Where is that located, you ask? My best guess, I think it's either the Tangled Shore or Dreaming City. Or it could be uh, any one of the other planets. I have no idea. Then on September 25th, uh, we get brand new Crucible maps going live. And a brand new mode called Breakthrough. Now that was part of the Crucible Labs that you saw right there. Then Festival of the Lost will return with a twist with a twist now I'm not too sure what that is but Festival of the Lost will return sometime in October more information to follow later on this fall now also happening uh, this fall we'll have the weekly playlist updates the evolution of the Dreaming City plus some additional surprises as well so that's what's happening for season number four a you know what free seasonal updates will be along with the annual pass now, here's what's happening in December 2018. Uh, first of all, we get a free seasonal update, which is called Season of the Forge. Now, that kicks off um, Season 5, or if you want to call it Year 2, Season 2, it's up to you. But I'm going to call it Season 5. Let's start with the seasonal update here first. We have, oh man, oh man, well, this is a big one. Heavy Machine Guns Return. Oh, yes. Oh yes. Plus we're going to get some new weapons. We have new Crucible content coming up. Some information about Iron Banner of course. Gameplay updates and seasonal ranks. Plus we have a brand new event coming from Season of the Forge called The Dawning. Alright. We'll get more information on The Dawning late this fall. Now for the annual pass content we'll have our first of three content releases um, from the Destiny 2 Forsaken launch which is Black Armory. You'll be able to discover weapons of light and fury. You can add the Black Armory's treasure to your legend. Okay, so access the Black Armory, of course. New Forges of the Chain activity. Not too sure what that is all about. We'll have our first of two raid layers from Last Wish. So it's just going to be the same as... Sorry about that. It's just going to be the same as the Lothiathan Raid, where there's going to be two raid layers. Okay, so this is our first raid layer. That's coming out December 2018. We'll get some brand new exotics and legendaries, triumphs and collections, and some bonus rewards as well. We'll get more information on those coming up at a later update. Then coming up in spring 2019, another free seasonal update will be on the way. This will be season 6. And it's going to be season of the thrifter. So obviously we're going to get some new weapons, crucible content of course, information on iron banners, updates, ranks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the event will be announced uh, most likely in early 2019. The second of three annual pass content updates, which is Joker's Wild. That's going to be coming out, of course, in spring 2019. Gambit was only the beginning, and the Drifter is ready to deal you another deadly hand. So you'll get a brand new activity experience. Now Gambit is going to evolve. I'm not too sure what it's going to evolve into, but we'll find out in early 2019. And same as before for the bottom four. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. 
And finally, in summer 2019, we have our final seasonal update of year number five. It's going to be season of the blank. Now, we don't know what season of the will be about, but we know that's going to be season number seven. You already know what, what all the information will be about. And the third and final annual pass content, which will be Penumbra. Only the brave will learn what lurks in the shadow, and only the strong will survive its teeth. So, in the final annual pass update, or yeah, annual pass content release, we'll get a, another new activity experience. We'll get our second and final raid layer from Last Wish, and of course, same four as mentioned. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, that is officially going to put a bow on it for sure. This has been an absolutely big day. And so far, a very interesting first half of the final week because, of course, yesterday, um, they, they weren't able to do the launch trailer yesterday due to the, uh, the victims that happened in Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, congratulations to Bungie on um, paying tribute and respect to the victims that happened in Jacksonville, Florida. We salute you guys. So there you go. Next week is the main event. I cannot wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. So until next time, thank you again very much for watching this, everybody. Now, like I said, I'll post the links for Letters of Cade, Update 2.0, and the VDoc trailer in the description box below. And now would be an excellent time to subscribe to the channel because we are extremely close to 750 subs. Will we hit it by next week? I'm going to leave it to the power of the hands of you guys. Leave a like in the comment of the video section, too. If you're brand new to the channel, hit that sub button. Definitely free to do. Don't pay a single cent. Perfectly free. And if you are a subscriber, hit the notifications button by hitting that bell. And until next time, thank you for watching us. The grind begins next week. Thank you for watching, folks. See you next time.